Hey guys, so we're going to be performing an experiment today. Um, inside my bag is I have a bunch of coins. Okay, and I'm going to be pulling one coin at a time and then recording it in my table. Okay, and then we're going to work with some probability about our uh, about our experiment. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and perform this experiment. Once again, I'm going to pull one coin from the bag, return the coin, and repeat it 20 times. I'm not going to tell you anything about the bag other than the fact that these are only American coins. So our options for our coins can be a quarter. There could be a dime in there. Nickel. Or penny. That's it. There's no dollar coins in there. So just the quarter, the dime, the nickel, and the penny. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So, right. It's not even, but that's okay. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. And every time I pull a coin, I'm going to put a tally here. If you need to pause the video to continue to set up your paper, go ahead and do that. All right, let's go. Nickel. And I'm going to go ahead and keep track of how many times I pull on the side of it there. So that's one trial. Oh, you can't see it. Dime. Quarter. Quarter. Dime. So that's five tries. We got fifteen to go. Penny. Quarter. And also, as I'm doing this, just as a reminder, this is a um, independent, simple event. Because uh, I'm only doing one thing. Time. No, that was a nickel. My bad. But I put it in the right spot. I said the wrong thing. Penny. But I put it in the right spot on the table. We're kind of even. Nickel. All right, we're doing we're up to ten, so I'm just going to double check to make sure that my table is good so far. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I made any mistakes so far. Nickel. Penny. Nickel. Nickel. Penny. Okay, we're up to 15, so I'm going to go ahead and check my tallies to make sure I'm good. 3, 4, 5, that's 10. 14, 15. Good. So five more trials to go. Penny. Quarter. Penny. Quarter. Penny. Okay, so that's 20. So let's go ahead and make sure that's 5, 10, 15, and then that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 20 trials. 
So let's go ahead and add up each one so we can make another column in our table here for just the number value. And that was 5, 2, 6, 7. Okay, so these numbers here represent not the number in the bag, but it represents the um, um, number of times I pulled that coin. So for a quarter, I pulled it five times, dime I pulled two times, nickel I pulled six times, and penny I pulled seven. So before we do anything with probability, there's two questions I want you to ask, ask yourself at this point. What coin do you think is in the bag the most? So that'll be like the mode of the data set. We were back from sixth grade. And then what coin do you think maybe is in there the least? Just based on what we've done so far. Go ahead and just give you a second to think about that. Go ahead and fill those in. And then we're going to do some probability based on our experiment that we did. And that will be in the next part.